All right, guys, so now what I want to do is make it so that we can delete a, not just a profile, but a, a user completely. So we're going to put that right down the bottom here. Let's copy these comments here and let's do uh, actually we'll just copy this whole thing. Oops. Let's grab this. And we're going to make a delete request to API slash profile and this is going to delete profile and well we should say profile user and post which we we're not dealing with just yet but we will be and this is going to be private okay so it's going to be dot delete and let's see we're not we don't need to get anything so we don't need a variable here We're just going to call a wait profile dot and we're going to use a method called find one and remove. Let's get rid of this populate. So find one and remove and we're going to pass in here user, which is the object ID and we can match that to the request user ID. Okay, because remember this is private so we have access to the token which we actually have to add in here the auth middleware like that. All right, so we should probably put a comment here since we're doing multiple things. So this will remove profile and I'm just going to put a comment here with a to do. Hopefully I remember to do this, but we want to remove users posts. Okay, so that will remove the profile. Uh, now let's let's actually we'll copy that. And let's do user now because we're dealing with the user model. And we're going to use find one to remove again. Now instead of user, that's not a field in the user model. We want to use underscore ID and match request dot user ID. So this will remove the user. Okay, and then as far as a, a, what we want to return, we'll just go ahead and return a message. We'll say MSG, oops, MSG, and we'll say user removed or deleted, whatever you want. And that should do it. So we'll save this. And what I'm going to do is go to Postman and I'm going to create a new user and profile and then try deleting it. So let's go to our register user request, go to the body and for the name, we'll just say um, we'll just say Steve Smith. And let's delete that Steve at Gmail and password. That's fine. Let's go ahead and send. So that creates the user, gives us a token. So I'm going to grab the token and let's copy that token and go to uh, let's see, we want to create a profile. So go to this request here and in the headers, we want to add Steve's token. We'll go to the body. We'll just add some, some crap here. I don't know. We'll just say test company. And all that's really required is skills and status. So we just want to make sure we have that. Whoops, I delete status. Yeah. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, and we'll say developer. All right, so let's send. So now Steve has a profile. And if we go to MongoDB and reload our profiles, we should have three we do. I mean, we could check this through making requests too, but just to show you in the in the actual uh, database, there's Steve Smith. All right, so let's try our delete route. So I'm going to create a new tab here, make a delete request to HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash profile. Okay, make sure it's a delete request and make sure that you grab um, the the token of whatever user you want to delete. So in this case, I'm going to grab Steve's and let's put that in our headers. 
So let's say uh, x auth token. Paste in Steve's token and let's send. So we get user deleted back, which is good. And we can uh, we can make a request to get profiles. And there's Brad and John and Steve is not here. And we can go and double check in MongoDB. Let's reload. So we have two users. So the user was deleted. If we go to the profiles, we have two profiles. Okay, so that both the profile and the user was deleted. All right, cool. So let's just save this delete real quick. Save this as delete profile and user. We'll save it in profiles. Okay. Now, in the next video, what I want to do is start to work on the experience, experience array and the um, the education, okay? Because we want to be able to add education and experience um, objects into that array. All right? So we'll get into that next.